Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm on the ZX Spectrum and about to play a homebrew game. Well, when I say homebrew, I think this might be an old game which was developed and either just never released or um, was sort of partially developed and then finished off later on. But yeah, it's a really good game anyway. It's called Quadron. Um, you're basically a robot defender trying to take care of the, the last of your kind, trying to take care of an enemy evade, um, invasion of the base or alien invasion I think it is but yeah it's quite a complicated one actually really good game it's got all the polish of of a sort of ultimate play the game but I'll just see if I can skip this but there's a lot of different things as you can see there popping up there's a lot to take in with this game and if you are interested in playing it I'd recommend going and watching um, I don't know if everyone's familiar with Chinny Vision but he did a really good video on this and explained it quite well he is actually a person that, that made me decide yeah I'll go and buy that game because a few people I watch videos of, they didn't have a clue what's going on. But anyway, I'll start it and I'll try and explain. I've actually picked up quite a few things myself since that video, a few extra things as well. So yeah, that's us with this little robot guy here. And these these enemies, they sort of spawn around. You can press space at any time. And that one there is your map. So it shows the different en enemies and whereabouts they are. Um, that... That there isn't an enemy, that's the little crystals which the enemies are trying to mine. And basically the enemies, once they've mined the crystals, which are in the four corners, they would try and take one of these little exits here and go and power up. And once they're powered up, they're pretty hard to kill. But I have discovered something just now, which I hadn't before. I, I did actually read the manual <laughs> and I saw the controls in there and there's something I'd been missing. But you can get upgrades for your guns, various other upgrades and that in here. So yeah, there's a lot to this game. Anyway, it's a little bit tricky. Ah, oh, and that, I just had to power down, I think. That, I thought was luck, and I think even on Chinny Vision's, um, yeah, this little thing here, this is what they mined to get the crystals from, because that's grey. Somebody's obviously mined that one already, so uh, yeah, here's the crystals, so you've got to collect those. So that's what the enemy tries to take to these little bits where I am there. Ah, see, he had one, he was, he was coloured, so he was about to go in here, and then there's a little area in there they can get in and power themselves up and they're really tough to destroy. But what I have discovered is those crystals that you pick up, and I don't think this was mentioned in Chinny Vision's video, but you can actually fire those like that. And where that's useful is the powered up guys, which are a real swine to try and shoot. You can you can fire that little crystal at them and wipe them out with a crystal, but it's it's hard. You, you know, you've got to press the, uh, the V or B button to do that. And it will, you've got to be basically lined up because it will, it will fire it in whichever direction you are facing last. So uh, even generally shooting the enemies is quite hard because of the way you, you kind of get a technique for it after a while. Like now, for instance, if you push left, then going up and down, you're always going to shoot left until you move right. So you get kind of a technique for it after a bit. But it's one of those games that's well worth persisting with. So now I can have a little look and see where, obviously it's quiet now, so I can have a look and see where the remaining enemy, oh there he is, look, he's, there's one just up there, and one down the bottom as well possibly. Like I say, although I play a lot of this, ah, here comes some, oh, these guys are a bit of a pain in the ass, they, they turn up just because if you've been in one area for too long, and they're, oh there they are, that's what happens if you, I try not to, you don't need to kill those, and I try and avoid them because they, uh, they're they so fast, you end up just, they just kill you. And I don't think they go in and power themselves up. I can't remember that. I haven't played this for a few weeks now. I have, I see, there must be only maybe one or two enemies left to clear this level. But yeah, that those power-ups that pop up now and again, which I thought were random, and I think on the... On a video I mentioned, I think he thought they were random as well. But if you watch carefully, they do actually flash from power up to power down. So you've got to basically hit them at just the right moment to uh, to get your power up. Otherwise, it will sort of shorten your it will shorten your fire rate. And let's just see if we can see where the remaining guys are. Oh, he's down there. They're down there. Look, and if they've got a crystal, you can actually get little teleport. Ah, here's one. I've got one already. So if you collect that. I should be able to just teleport down to here. Does that, is that going to work? Hmm. I thought that's how it worked. Hang on. No, maybe not. Maybe I haven't got enough of them. It seems to work sometimes. There is still a lot of randomness because it, it doesn't have 
much of an instruction on this game, so a lot of it's sort of figuring out as you go along. I don't want to get into a combat with him. You can kill these yet. Oh, there they are. They, these ones I need to kill. Hopefully, if I kill that last one. Oh, that's my vulnerable there. Oh, got away with it. When you're flashing like that, you're not far off being killed. Uh, where's that other one gone? Is that another one of these. Oh, let's go. Oh, you shit. Yeah, they, they hit you quite away. Ah, oh, there he is, anyway, as it happens. You can't help me. Ah, oh, there we go. So that's wave one completed. So yeah, it goes up through the waves. It does get harder, obviously, as you'd expect. So basically, we're protecting these four corners. Picking up these things. I don't know what all these... Ah, if you see those, you've got to grab them quick, because if the enemies get them, they will just pick them back up, and, uh, and they'll be away. I'm hoping to find a powered up, powered up enemy so I can show you the uh, firing the crystal at them. Because that's something I didn't even realise. It didn't it didn't sort of explain that. Oh, there's no more. Like that. And once they're powered up, they're really hard to kill with your guns. You you know you're fighting a losing battle. But yeah, if you fire the crystal at them and hit them, it's a, it's a one hit kill. Those guys. Ah, see. Oh, see, I got power down so that you'll notice now. I don't know what's. It could be sometimes it's your movement speed, sometimes your laser shoots shorter. But there are some nice um, power ups. Oh, get these guys. I think one of those was. See, power up there. You see, I, I caught that right. So this is going better. And you can see now my lasers, look at that, it's got quite a nice reach on that. You can eventually power up to the point where you... Oh, now I power down again. Bollocks. Um, you can eventually get to a point where you can have um, sort of dual, dual shooting lasers. Uh, let's see, is there anything I can do here? Uh, so I've got those guys over there. Let's see if I can use this teleport one this time. Unless I can... That's strange. I've done this before, but... I don't know what I'm missing. Oh, I know what it is. You've got to have these these maxed out. That's why. I don't know what the green one, that's for you leveling up your gun. So yeah, you've got to collect more of those purple crystals before you can use that. But yeah, then you can basically teleport right across the map. It's a bit more of the green. Yeah, it's, it's one of these games that's very easy to, to play a bit and just think, oh, <laughs> can't be bothered with that. But actually, it's, it's a really... Oh, I see. Here's a powered up one, right? Okay, so here we go. There you go. There, you go. wiped him out. So yeah, that's how it's done. So I'm glad I managed to do a bit of that. This one here, they mine that when it's gone grey. They mine that dry, so they won't bother trying to get anything out of there. Ah, uh, there's one in here, right? And this is the area I was telling you about. So what they do once they've got the crystal, they come into this little bit in the middle. And once they go in there, they basically get powered up by these two things. And then they come out badass mode, basically. Oh, bonus. Yeah, the, um, the sort of side graphics here remind me a lot of Saber Wolf. And I think the general sort of look of the game, it's got very much a sort of ultimate feel to it. Which, of course, is always a good thing. Oh, I've got about these. These little, these little buggers here, they do hurt you. Oh, as you can see, they, they just knocked me right back there. Let me get that yellow one. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Let's see if I can get to him before he... Oh, ah, ah, yeah. oh shit, now I've got them guys turned up. Come on. <laughs> I might actually... I'm going to try throwing my crystal at him, because I can't catch up with him at the moment. Oh, don't want him hitting me. Oh, crap. There's one life gone. Yeah, it does get a lot harder. I get my crystal. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Got it. Right. Let's see where the other guys are. I think I'm going to have to destroy these guys down here. These, these chaps. Yeah, they're a pain in the ass, these. They're fast and they take a bit of bloody killing. I'm going to see if I can get to the other. I don't want to take them four on if I can help it. Oh, shit, there's another one. Oh, where's the main guy? Maybe it's this one. Got him. Wave two completed. Oh, there we go. This is good, actually. 
Not very often I get wave 2 done. Oh shit, that's a little... Ah, gun upgrade, right, let's, let's try that. Right, so, uh, there we are, look. So we've got that gun upgrade there. Let's see what difference that makes. Yes, got the power up. Yeah, look, let's see, ah, oh, there we are. So you can shoot both ways now. So that's a, that's a good upgrade, that one. Such a cool game, this, it really is. Can't recommend it highly enough. Oh, I shot the crystal, that's a shame. Didn't want to destroy that. Yeah, so when, when you get the upgrades like this, it really helps. It really helps a lot. Oh, what happened there? I think I've got power down. Right, I'm going to have to do this red one. So it's one of the tricky parts with it is uh, getting to turn around and fire your laser in time, because obviously you can't shoot in the opposite direction moving. Oh, minus two. Oh, shit, that's not good. Oh, look at my fire rate now. Oh, you shit. Right, last life. I've got a really slow fire rate now. Come on, get him. Christ, this is quite difficult. Have I got any upgrades I can use? No. That's potentially a bit better. Oh, Crystal, take that. Yeah, it's just really slow. Oh, I want him. Uh, and him. Come here, you. Still quite a few enemies actually. Ah, got my fire right back, that's good. Let's just see if the teleports. Ah, see, the teleport's activated now, so uh, as it happened, there's three just in front of me, so I don't need it at the moment. Ooh, little bugger, send another ones. Oh, got him. Oh no, those guys. Get out of here. Oh. Yeah, don't want to get hit when you're in that way. Right, I'm going to try and use the teleport. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's just get out of here. Uh, right, so if I use that one, where are the baddies? Some down here, so I should be able to teleport here now. No, nope. that's odd. Sorry, guys, I keep telling you I'm going to do something. And I... <laughs> you can definitely, you can definitely teleport somehow. I've done this before, but I can't quite remember how it works now. Maybe you've got to have a... oh, maybe you can't have an enemy on the screen when you do it. Let's try it now. No, nope, still can't do it. No, never mind. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I've probably done better than the average video of this game on YouTube, I think, so that's that's quite good. I'm happy with that. Come on. I want to do one more wave. Come here. I've done quite well to stop the um, enemies getting upgraded actually, there's normally quite a few of them buzzing around by now. Oh there's an upgraded one, right let's see if I've got a crystal for him. Oh I haven't got any crystals, damn it he's going to be hard to kill. I think he's the last one as well, come on. Ah oh, you 
Oh shit. Trust him to turn up the yellow guy. Ah, oh, get out of here. No. Ah, oh, that's <laughs> so close. Have I got one life left? No, that's game over. <laughs> anyway, what's a 15 minute vid? So yeah, that gave you a good look at the game. Um, so that was Quadron. And I'll just show you as well. I have shown this in another video once before, but on the sort of double dual case version, you do get this nice sort of um, crystally tape as well, which I think is quite cool. And you also get, which you don't get on a single version, you get this little thing here, which I believe that little disc gives you the, um, the digital download. So obviously if you've got a um, Spectrum Next or something like that, you can install it on there. So yeah, definitely a game I recommend picking up. I think of, of all the my sort of homebrew games, this is one that I come back to quite a lot. It's a, it's got a lot of replay game replay uh, value in this one. So anyway, I'll cut the video there. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I'll catch you next time, and that is all.